Ah, what a beautiful day, I've slept really good last night too, perfection, even though I live in this derelict place, at least I was able to experience this amazing day. Oh yeah, first thing first. My YouTube channel. Okay, here I am, now it's time to check on my YouTube channel. O. M. G. 400 subscribers, I did it, I've hit another major milestone after so long, is this for real? Well, if it's actually for real then, thank you guys so, so much for helping me reach 400 subscribers, that took a lot longer than expected, considering that I've reached 300 subs back in July 7th and that only took like less than 4 months from 200 subs, but oh well, progress is being made, which is nice, so thank you. And now for this special's random clips segment, I'll be playing another Entropy 02 custom map, this time it's a map called Radio Guy Contacts White Forest, 11.i, which doesn't contain any cool intense combat situations, but instead, a demonstration of how 11.i can be used to create completely new in-universe scenes featuring Half-Life 2's original characters, which is cool. And without any further ado, let's get into the clip. Here we go. Foster's upstairs and he already got the entire resistance leadership on the line. I doubt it's going to amount to anything. But you better hurry if you don't want to miss it. Don't mind me. The liberation of humanity isn't going to stop Foster from making me guard the gate. Did you think the mask was glued to my face or something? Well, we only use glue on Tuesdays! I said upstairs, swellhead. Dude, this is really important! We're on the verge of finding the secrets behind the Arbite anomaly! Can it help us obtain interdimensional contact codes? Uh, I, I don't know about that, but uh... Don't you realize what is happening down here? Dr. Breen is gone, the Combine is cut off from their homeworld, and we are trying to keep it that way. Could you perhaps explain in more detail what you're on the verge of finding? Okay, well, it's a man-made device apparently called The Project, and it's responsible for all of the strange things happening at Arbite. Look, I, I can't say any more in case the Combine is listening. Oh, how convenient. I'm sorry, but we need to figure out what the Combine's next moves are gonna be. And get a hold on this war while we have the chance. Actually, hold on. Of all times, why are you so close to finding the project now? Well, uh, the anomaly has become more volatile over the past few weeks, so we started looking for answers. And we found out some things none of us knew. Its recent increase in activity could be connected to the unstable portal energies here in City 17. But how? The reactor core was destabilized only hours ago. The anomalies at Arbyte stretch across time as well as space. They're capable of reflecting events decades into the past or the future. Decades? Yes. Judith, you worked at Arbyte before the war, so you know how important the project is. Well, no matter how you spin this project, the fact of the matter is that the Combine will soon try to call for off-world reinforcements. We know how we can stop them, but we need to make sure we're prepared. Uh, well, our main obstacle at the moment is the sequence they would use to contact the Overworld. Once we obtain that, maybe we'll have some time to examine the situation at Arbite. Assuming no other issue arises? Hold on. Arbite has a massive signal collection infrastructure which was intended to help study the anomaly. 
If I traveled there on my own, I could reconfigure it to intercept secure combine channels around the Citadel and recover the contact code. Oh, yeah, I mean, we can let you do that. Judith, it's not worth the risk right now. They'll come looking for you. I know, but this is a clear path to collecting all the data we need, and I can use my expertise to help find the project. It's the best of both worlds. We can find another way. Now's not the time Are you to... going to leave that to chance? What if this is the only shot we'll have at finding that code? Judith, please! And we can't forget about the project either. What if it falls into the hands of the Combine? They could use it to open another portal. Oh dear. This seems to be more urgent than I initially thought. You need to trust me, Eli. This is what I have to do. For all of us. Okay. If you really think that, then you can go. But please, for the love of God, stay safe. Don't worry, Eli. This is going to help us. So, how are you going to make the trip? If I may interject, there is an old helicopter some of our staff have used to travel to and from Arbite in the past. I will allow you to borrow it. Thank you. I may ask some of my remaining aides from Black Mesa East to come with me as well. If they still trust me, of course. And Foster? Yeah? What is it? Keep your hailing frequencies open. Once we depart, we'll try to contact you again. Yep, I understand. Thank you for reaching out to us on this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, we have other things to attend to. Of course. Take care. Well, I guess that went swimmingly. Honestly, who do they think they are? Bullying us around like that? Seriously? Hey, at least Judith is the only one we need to care about now. Is it just me, or did she act kind of personal about this? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I bet she knows more about the project than she's letting on. But she was only bootstrap certified when she worked here, right? Not Mirage clearance? I'll make sure we're ready for her to contact us again. Once again, thank you so much. Um, hold on, is that who I think it is? Oh no, I think I know who it is. Yep, the plaid shirted man, he's here again. I guess it's time to prepare myself for my death. Oh wait a minute, maybe he didn't notice me yet, maybe I could hide somewhere before he sees me. Shit, too late now. Yep, I'm a goner now, good. Phew, what a relief. I guess I'm finally safe at last. 